As a CWT, we use our technical training and skills and analysis to provide cyber capabilities to our operational commanders and support any national intelligence requirements. Their schooling will be approximately seven months. Upon completing the Joint Cyber Analysis course, they are split off into offensive or defensive cyber. If they go into the offensive cyber pipeline, their schooling can range between four and a half and 19 months. Or if they go through the defensive cyber pipeline, their schooling can range between 14 and 15 weeks. At the conclusion of that training, you will enter the fleet to conduct cyberspace operations, either hunting adversaries in DOD networks or conducting offensive operations within the cyber domain. The work CWTs do is critically important. The skills you will learn here at Quarry Station will enable you to effectively counter threats from our adversaries in our nation's networks. Don't be intimidated if you feel like you don't know anything about computers and want to get into the CWT rating. We are here and ready to train you from very limited knowledge all the way up to a JCAT graduate. I've enjoyed it very much. I mean, it's a long seven months because it goes at a crawl, walk, run pace. The instructors, they're going to give you great experience from what they experienced out in the field. JCAC isn't to make you an expert right away. It's to lay down that core foundation. So whenever you get to your first command, it's like, okay, you have an idea of what is going on. They'll learn discrete math. They'll learn um, architecture for a computer, be it Linux operating system or a Windows operating system. They're going to learn packet captures and how to read hex. They're, they're going to learn a lot. CWTs are typically stationed at shore facilities within the continental United States and additionally in Hawaii and Japan. There are some opportunities to serve aboard ships underway as well as within the Naval Special Warfare community. I was able to visit several countries in Northern Europe such as Norway, Finland, Poland and when I was over at 7th Fleet we were able to go to Japan, Okinawa, and Australia. The skills you'll learn as a CWT are highly transferable to the civilian sector, whether that's through college credits that you will obtain through training or the on-the-job experience that you will take with you. Compared to a normal civilian, I put on this uniform and I do things that some people aren't sanctioned to do. You can go out and be a pen tester, you can be, you know, an ethical hacker, but there's going to have some limitations. I'm backed by the U.S. government, and the U.S. government has poured a lot of money into my training. And they give me all the tools that I need. And if I ask for other tools, I can probably get those too. I just got to go through the right processes to do it. And a normal civilian, even if they go this route, they're going to have some limitations. We join the Navy. We join the Navy. We join the Navy.